All right, guys, changing up the stadium tours a little bit. Um, today what we're going to do is we're going to look at um, how a stadium changes from a basketball court into an ice rink. There's a couple stadiums um, around the U.S. that do this. I'm sure there's more throughout the world that do different things like this. In Detroit, we have one, Little Caesars Arena, but they don't have – a time-lapse video of them changing from floor to floor yet that I've known. Um, so today we're going to go down to Dallas. In Dallas, you have the Dallas Mavericks and the Dallas Stars who share the same arena. Other arenas that do this, um, LA, the um, I'm saying the United Center, that's in Chicago, uh, the Staples Center in LA, they actually have two basketball teams and one hockey team when they switch. So they may have to switch from um, Lakers to Clippers or Kings to Lakers and those are things. In Chicago, they switch from Bulls to Blackhawks. Um, off the top of my head, I can't think of any more. There is more, though. I can't think of it off the top of my head, though. I want to say the Florida Panthers and – my goodness, Orlando Magic, I believe. I'm not positive. Yes, though. you're right. I think so. I think I'm right. There was this one time I was wrong, though. Don't tell anybody. All right. So here we go. Checking this out. Um, it's actually really kind of fun to kind of watch. All right, so at the start of this video, the Dallas Mavericks game, I believe, is ending. Yes, people are starting to leave. They're starting to pack up all the stuff, take down all those things hanging from the rafters um, and all that fun jazz. So as you see now, the outsides um, starting to come down. That would be the netting for your um, – Hockey arena. So that's how much bigger the hockey arena is compared to the basketball court. Hockey arena, hockey rink. The arena stays the same. So the rink actually covers that much more. So there you go. They're taking up the floor, which again to me is just an amazing process how they get it completely seamless and completely flat um, so they can hold an NBA basketball game on there. You don't want any um, lifts or anything going on in there. See, they brought down the Jumbotron in the middle there. Now it's changing over to the Dallas Star. Basketball court is almost all cleaned up. And those boards there for the hockey rink stay there all the time. And I missed where they took out the sections of the, of the basketball, um, the bleachers, but they take those completely out too. So here we go. Putting up the net for the hockey rink, which is now in every rink when I was younger that was never there. There was never actually – um, netting there, and once the puck went over the boards, it would just go up into the stands. All right, so I was just tricked there. I don't know if you guys were too. It looked like they were laying down ice. How can you lay down ice? But if you really look closely, they're actually picking up these black tiles and taking them off the ice. Um, so they're not actually laying down ice. They're actually picking up these black tiles and uncovering the ice. See, they had to bring a Ford truck out there to take that all off. Run the Zamboni over a couple times, make sure that ice is nice and clean. Jumbotron's already been lowered. Send the inflatables back up to the roof. So here you see the countdown going until their next game, the Blackhawks game. The arena starts to fill up about an hour before the game, usually is when they let the gates open. So we'll see. Yep, here we go. Oop, I guess they just had a countdown going to where they need to be. They weren't actually an hour before the game. So this will be the American Airlines Arena in Dallas, Texas. And I'm not actually positive if this is in Dallas, in Dallas. Um, I know like the Dallas Cowboys play just outside in Arlington, Texas, and that's also where the Texas Rangers play is in Arlington, Texas. So I'm not positive this is in Dallas, but it just being a neighboring community, how the Auburn Hills, Palace of Auburn Hills used to be the Detroit Pistons home, and now they moved down to Little Caesars Arena downtown. 
There we go. We're into a full blown ice rink. And I can't remember off the top of my head if this one actually goes back to a basketball court at the end, but I think it just does the whole hockey game. There's the first intermission of the hockey game. whole lot of graphics. If you're ever thinking about going to a hockey game now or any type of professional sports game, I guess you need to see everything that's going on. And um, if lights and stuff give issues for things like on this, um, then maybe that's something you need to rethink about and definitely take into consideration because there's a lot of light shows that go on now at these games. Up here we go. Now we're in the first period. That was just a pregame. The National Anthem, one-to-one game. And as we're fading out of the video, um, I'm going to thank you guys for watching it. Try and see if you guys can see any other um, arenas where they play two sports in the arena. I, I, now it's really going to kick me. I think the Florida Panthers and it's the Miami Heat, I believe, that share the same arena. Um, again, going off the top of my head, another Minnesota Wild do not with the Minnesota Timberwolves because I've seen both of their stadiums. Um, but I can't think of any other off the top of my head where they play in the same stadium. But hope everyone's healthy, staying safe. Um, I'll see you guys in the Zoom.